So I just left my uh, the shop that I take my bike to and buy gear from and shit, which has been pretty much a frustrating experience over and over and over. So I'm kind of shopping for somewhere else to go. Um, you'll notice I put these cheap little mirrors on my bike. Um, anyhow, I had I, I talked about my chain previously, and it's been fine since I fixed it up myself, but uh, I don't know if it's from it falling off from them or just wearing over time, but like, the whole rear sprock sprocket is fucked and all the, the teeth are all chewed up and shit. Um, and anyway, so I went there today and for a totally unrelated matter, and um, I asked the guy that actually had worked on my bike to take a look at it. So I told him it fell off and I got it back on there myself and tightened it up and it's been fine. Um, and he goes and looks and then he comes back and he just acts like a jackass. So instead of like, you know, like, hey, we want your business. So um, here's the deal and here's what it's going to cost you and blah, blah, blah. He said, oh, well, yeah, your rear sprocket's fucked. So is your chain. Oh, okay. It's like, we told you that. I said, no, you didn't. Like, no one ever told me that. Ever. They just said they adjusted my chain and tightened it up. Yeah, I had it on a wrist seat. That was it. And I said, okay, so uh, now that I know that, what's it going to cost me to uh, fix this stuff? He's like, fuck, I don't know. Anywhere from 15 to $200 for a chain. And I said, okay, so how much is it going to cost for a chain? Well, anywhere from two, uh, from 15 to $200. Like, hold on. Can I just get a number, like a real realistic number? You know, and uh, <laughs> I, I just, I don't understand that attitude. Like, you either want to, you know, sell me your service so I can pay you or ask me to go somewhere else. Pick one. I don't care. I'll do either. I haven't really found like a, a very friendly, helpful shop to go to yet. And I'm on to my second now, so um I don't know. But originally I went there, I don't remember I ever talked about my helmet yet, but I had bought a uh, Bell Revolver Evo helmet their modular one um, I like the helmet I guess but it's had issues so I've had it replaced once already and it had some other problems that were totally different than the last time and um, so they ordered me a third one and I just look at it and I go so can we just get rid of this because you know, I'm just going to come back and keep warranting it until they get it right, which won't happen. Um, everything from ear piercing wind noise on one side to um, the magnet falling off for the tin strap within a week. Um, this one was cracked for some reason. The one I'm currently wearing after like a couple days. No idea how that happened. I didn't drop it or anything, so... Um, <clears throat> so I got them to refund me this time and then they're just going to sell the new one that they just got in on the shelf and I bought a a Bell Vortex which was slightly cheaper the downside is all the insides don't come out like half of them do like the helmet I have on now all of it comes out so you can just wash it but I'm okay with the, the half of it coming out. Plus, I tried one out at the store, and it was way more comfortable than this thing. So, I don't think I'll be disappointed. Plus, I don't I honestly think that the problems I've had with the helmet are just because it's just got too many moving parts. So, um, so my other one should be here in a couple days. They had to order it. I like some random high school I'm turning around in. 
Ah, yeah, motorcycle stuff. Frustrating. Just super frustrating. So, I don't know. I'll have to try another shop, I guess, and see how they do. Because, I don't know. I'm just not... I don't care for people acting like idiots all the time and like it's like that that ripping on each other thing same same deal like here let me just tell you that it's gonna cost you money like well how much oh i don't know some okay thanks thanks for your help buddy so oh uh, and they wanted like which i mean i don't think it's unreasonable or anything but i think i could probably figure out how to do this myself for the sprocket, for the rear, and then the front, and then the chain, and the labor. I think it would have come around like three, uh, I don't know, 300 something. And uh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I could do it myself. Like during the winter when I'm not driving this thing. So I'll probably just try to do that and order the parts. Because I think the parts were. Uh, like a hundred bucks or just over that so uh, yeah it was just over a hundred because he's charging I don't know anymore uh, so yeah fun oh and then I ordered some other stuff last week um, I don't know what you call them it starts with a B that's all I remember uh, it's one of those things you you, you pull over your head under your helmet and your eyes just show and then it covers your neck too so you can just like tuck that part into your jacket or shirt or whatever but um I ordered some stupid mask with skull on it just for fun because <clears throat> why not it's the biker thing right I'm just making that up I think it's kind of stupid honestly but why not just wear it once in a while. It keeps me warmer around the time, like a cold night, and then I'm good with it. I'm only talking about the mask with the, with the skull thing being stupid. Uh, the, the other pullover thing is, is awesome. So, um, yeah. I don't know if having these experiences at these shops is like a normal thing, or or what, but it seems like that, that, uh, that ego type thing that I hate. Like, you know, because I ride a motorcycle in America, I'm supposed to have a Harley and, or a sport bike, one of the two, usually a Harley, and then everyone's like, you know, looks that 80s type way with a, a beer in their hand and a, and a really poor attitude. I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm going here right now. I gotta do a, a show for these guys, so. I don't know where I want to go in. And look here. Oh yeah, church festivals. Hooray. 